Pierre-Louis Armand de Potter de Elzem, born 4th June 1852, died 1905, and his wife, Amy S. Beckwith, born 1857, died 1938, both buried at St. John's Reformed Church Cemetery, Upper Red Hook. Look for a short, square, tiered monument with square hole over the hill close to the access road near a lilac bush. To make things easier on the Americans he did business with, this globe-trotting Frenchman went by Armand de Potter. Armand's passport application from 1885, when he was 36 years old, described him as being 5 foot 8 inches tall with a high forehead, blue eyes, aquiline nose, medium mouth, round chin, chestnut hair, fair complexion, and a round face. Armand was born in Paris in 1852. His parents were from Belgium, and his father was a philosopher and revolutionary leader during the 1830 war for Belgium's independence from the Netherlands. Armand was well-educated, attending the Lycée Saint-Louis in Paris, an École Spéciale Militaire de Saint-Cyr in Brittany. He served in Algiers as a sub-lieutenant during the Franco-Prussian War of 1870. After this, he came to America to teach foreign language and literature. He was naturalized while living in Brooklyn on June 28, 1879, the year after he married Amy Beckwith, daughter of William S. Beckwith and Anna Collier. William Beckwith was a son of Colonel Nathan Beckwith and Betsy Gale, all of whom are buried in St. John's Cemetery. Armand's title Red Hook. Colonel, as well as the his grave is located on the north side, towards to the center, the on the north side of the path. It is marked by a large Civil War soldier monument. Frederick A. Martin's monument draws our attention Europe. due to its size and, and the Civil War soldier standing atop, commemorating Martin's military service. The inscription mentions his affiliation with the Fraternal Organization of Masons before it notes that this location is also the burial site of his wife, Susan Near Martin, who pre... Mr. De Potter had an extensive collection of Egyptian curiosities. This inscription mentions his affiliation with the Fraternal Organization of Masons before it notes that this location is also the burial site of his wife, Susan Near Martin, who predeceased him in 1899. Their only child, Joseph Lewis Martin, predeceased him in 1902 in Red Hook at the age of 30. Frederick's survivors included five sisters, a brother, and his son's widow. Martin was born in Berrytown, New York, on December 7, 1837, the oldest child of Joseph and Marguerite Serena Beringer Martin. His father was a lawyer in Red Hook, and probably the attorney mentioned as having offices in the Conklin and Allendorf building according to Reminiscences of Red Hook by Edmund Bassett. Martin and his brother-in-law, Beekman R. Near, who was buried in East... Martin and his brother-in-law, Beekman R. Near, who was buried in East Greenbush and lived to the age of 49, enlisted and served together in the Civil War. He served in World War Martin enlisted in Company I of the 115th New York Regiment of Infantry on August 21, 1862, in Boston. And Yvonne de Potter. Armand de Potter died at sea in 1905, off the coast of Greece, having just made a trip to Delphi and Argos, which he had been visiting for scholarly archaeological reasons. Amy died in Upper Red Hook after a long illness at 80 years of age. She lived in France with Armand for many years, but had returned home probably after Armand's death, about two decades before her own passing on June 6, 1937. She left an estate of over $215,000, which went to her grandchildren, Amy and Yvonne de Potter. When her son Victor died five years earlier, he had filed a will written in French. The Rhinebeck Gazette reported that it was only the second such document filed in a foreign language in Dutchess County history. Armand, Amy, Victor, and Eleanor are all buried in the same plot, not far from Amy's Beckwith family.